Hey everybody, welcome back. This is going to be the test of uh, yet another single 3500Z amplifier. It's going to be a single tube 3500Z. Uh, some interesting points about this amplifier is uh, this is a lot smaller than the normal 3500Z box that I build. Um, this is the smallest case that you can get, um, which is a really nice small compact package. I also did a variable input tune against my better judgment. The uh, box is very simple, uh, just a plate voltage meter, tune and load, input tune, on off, AM sideband standby, transmit receive, LED. Uh, this box has internal fan, I'll show you the back side of it here. Uh, blows in across the tube, goes down through the deck and cools off the pins and blows out the bottom. In and out, ground, power cord, circuit breaker, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay. Um, before we get started with that, I want to show you the quote of the day. Never confuse motion with action. A lot of people move around a lot, but don't actually accomplish anything. Who said that? Benjamin Franklin. Okie dokie. So the test setup. It's going to be a single final radio going into a one pill, uh, producing, I think, 75 or 80 watts PEP. Uh, we got dual bird meters this time. Uh, I like doing that in the last video. I think it um, was a little bit clearer, you know, for everybody to, to see the... Um, hold on, I'm just cranking up the tripod here. I think it was a little bit easier for everybody to see, like, the watts as they were being made and, and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't need to show you the box, I, I, I'll show it to you, but... So first we're going to turn the drivers and everything on, we'll show you drive. And again, I'm, instead of me saying Claudio uh, over and over, I set up that tone generator thing again. So I'm going to use that, I think, from now on. It just makes for a easier to watch video, in my opinion. So the left hand bird meter is going to be the driver, the radio and driver. Um, and I changed some wires around so I can actually not put the audio through it. So let's uh, make sure everything's on first. We're all hooked up. Okay, we've got a carrier. This is a 250 watt slug, so we're looking at the top scale. And if you can see, we got like a 20 watt carrier. That's with no audio. Let's see with audio. This is in PDP. You can hear it going wee in the background. That's 70, 80 watts PEP, not even 100. Okay, that's the drive. On the right hand side, we've got a 2500 watt slug. So we're going to be looking at the top scale. Get that as straight as possible for you. Um, let's put the box on. We'll see the plate voltage come up at 3000 volts. Popping into AM or sideband AM. Uh, again, this has an input tune, tune and load. So the box is on. It's a pretty quiet box. Um, let's do a little zoom on the meters here. So we're going to be looking at the top scale on the one on the right and the top scale on the one on the left. So first, let's uh, chuck a carrier. Box has already been tuned and loaded out. So we're putting, I don't know, 20 watts in, 15 watts, something like that. And we've got about a 200 watt carrier on the output. Now let's put the audio on and we'll look at PDP. Okay, we've got 800 watts. Let's adjust, tune and load here. See, I'm just touching the input tune with audio. So we've got 1,000 watts PEP. So that's an important thing to note, guys. Um, when you get these boxes, actually, let me just zoom out. When you get these boxes in, uh, if you have a variable input tune, you know, there is a difference between uh, tuning it with a carrier and with audio. And I, I think most people already know this, but if you don't, you know, start with a quick carrier, do your tune, do your load, 
add audio, do your tune, do your load, touch up your input. Um, and you're going to find a balance of the input tune. Um, you're going to find a balancing act between perfect tune while dead keyed and with no audio and perfect tune when modulated. And there's, it's a balance between the two. So, you know, you key up, give it audio, and then just touch your input tune uh, for maximum forward power. And that usually yields you the best input match. Um, same thing with your tune and load on the output. And it's a balancing act, you know, between the two. When this changes, this is gonna change. And when you change this, that's gonna change. So you peak, 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 peak. And keep going back and forth and your box will be tuned out. It's only a couple seconds to do it. Um, so again, Yeah, I, I nudged the knob before when I was moving things around. But she does a thousand watts. Just check the load here. Yep, the load's peaked. Tune. See, small movements is all it takes. Thousand watts. Off. Thousand watts. About 75 or 80 going in. A little over a thousand, actually. And that's it. That's the Mountaintop Electronics Single 3500Z. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This box is available. Um, you know, this box can do more. I, I tell everybody, I rate these tubes. They're 1,000 watts a piece, guys. Um, if you want to make this thing do 1,500 watts, I'm sure you could, but you don't need to. Uh, this would be a great little driver for somebody.